Welcome ladies and gents to your magical moon message. This is the Peace Dealer. And this message is for the moon in Cancer, sun in Leo. Um, we are in the balsamic phase. And a transit like this is going to confirm that people's opinions of you and you are like two completely different things. Um, a lot of people are delusional too. So like the only exposure people will have to you is mainly from the outside looking in and what they might have heard or seen from you. And a lot of idiots think that that's actually enough to make widely claimed assumptions about you and your life. And since a lot of this has been normalized, where like people can be shamed or ostracized or, or made fun of or talked about online, a lot of people are given into the assumption that you know, they know what they're talking about when they do this. And I really want to, once again, uh, really have you examine that because the moon in Cancer is going to be releasing feelings about how you feel about yourself relative to how much more you're shining and glowing in these social situations. Once again, the reason why this is very important is a lot of people operate off of commonly wildly held assumptions that are not true at all. Um, and I just, once again, I want you to really think about the concept of people that may read something or see something. And mind you, these people have not actually met these people face to face, right? The only exposure they've had maybe is seeing somebody online or seeing someone write or talk about someone. And it's a special type of pathology where they think that they actually know that person. When, For example, when you listen to someone's music over and over and you develop emotional feelings based on the music that ha you know, you've had very special experiences with, all these anchor in your subconscious deeper feelings so that when these songs are played, they re-evoke re these feelings. And when you meet the artist, you start to feel like you have a special connection to the artist when you really don't, you just like their music. It's very subtle, and we see this a lot with social media, where people think they know other people just because you see what they do online. And it, it, and see, the reason why this is a pathology is it's very subtle. Even, even you know, even even if it's someone that you feel like you're close to and you see do you know every day, and you start to subconsciously develop a sense of closeness, this can mislead you to think you actually know that person when you only know you don't even know you only see what they've shown you okay seeing versus knowing is not the same sagittarius is not aquarius although they sextile okay so you're gonna really be examining how you're changing and releasing feelings around opinions around you versus who you really are and the reason why I say this is a pathology is that, um, you know, people really dead ass think that they know what they're talking about when they don't. All they're going off of is what they've seen, not what they know. And this happens at such a collective level. You know, this 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 pathology has been normalized. So coming into this new moon, you releasing feelings about the opinions of you is going to free you up so very powerfully. And this balsamic phase is also going to integrate holistically super psychic power in relation to this glow up you're coming into with this Leo season. The moon is going to be opposite Pluto. And as it's also going to be trining Neptune... The trying to Neptune retrograde is going to make this a highly intuitive day. And cancer is a function of psychic power. So the cardinal element of cancer is the action of feeling. And a lot of what you feel will be influenced by what Neptune aligns with its extreme opposition to Pluto. Everything that you sense and can discern psychically to feel subtly into that which is hidden, just like this hidden transit, and into also setting straight 
and putting in people's putting people in their place okay a, a more realistic realization of who you are of how you feel about yourself and the purpose of releasing these old feelings is you're glowing up so we're going to step into the new moon in leo and you're literally stepping into a brand new solar cycle be very careful of people who leverage um, their attention or friendship. If anyone leverages their friendship, they're not a friend. So what does that mean? Oh, well, if you do this, I don't know if I'm going to be your friend anymore. Bitch, you were never a friend then because a friend would never leverage their friendship. Bye, bitch. And, and that's it. This is going to be releasing a whole lot of stuff because the shadow of cancer here is a form of emotional manipulation. And with the gaslighting of mooning cancer... Because some people may not outright be direct, especially with them being sensitive AF, this will kind of delude or elude and reveal more of this element of, you know, manipulation emotionally or just deception. OK, it is as dark as this may be, because this is one of the more dark aspects. Leo casts a dark shadow on the ocean of the 12th and cancer is going to bring up a well of all of your deepest suppressed emotions and you're going to realize that a lot of these emotions suppressed and and that don't necessarily feel like you aren't you you're feeling a lot of projections on what people have an opinion about of you which if any of those people weren't cowards and actually had any integrity they would actually confront you and find that out instead of trying to piece it up together on their own from the little limited amount of what they saw from a distance. I'm going to say this again. Like there's a lot of delusional people out there that feel like they can forego the whole process of getting to know somebody by just, you know, scanning their energy, reading the tarot cards that that. <laughs> You know exactly who I'm talking about. Like people who think they know someone in and out. And it's like, you don't, bitch. You really don't. You actually don't. Okay, really don't. Okay. And this is going to really free up this sense of expectation of having to live up to other people's opinions. And because this is a balsamic, you're releasing emotions that no longer serve you or even apply with you. So this is important because this is going to set the stage to feeling new feelings. And I don't mean romantically, like, oh, I have a new feeling. No, I mean, like, feeling new confidence in yourself, especially with the minor King Kunkses that we're going to see to, of course, with Aquarius to the moon in Cancer, the knowledge that we've compiled will transform how you feel because relative to when we started this cycle 2011, you've come into so much more knowledge about yourself. And this is going to, even though the balsamic phase could be very tricky, actually instill so much more power and because this is a form of awakening with the opposition off the gauntlet right now that we've finished going through the moon and all these outer planets the sextile the moon will be making the uranus but then also mars and venus and virgo will really give you psychic insight about what actions to take to ground in more wealth and more groundedness within your body. So a transit like this will definitely have you sense within the local space around you how you're picking up psychic energy. With your brain as a transmitter, if you think of a radio frequency, the input, the output, that's your brain, that's Mercury. And so with the analysis coming out of Leo into Virgo, this is strengthening the courage and energy that goes into this and converts Beautifully. For those of you getting psychically attacked, by the way, you need to understand this is a psychological emphasis of this war. And so some of you that are feel if you think of battles of attrition, one thing that's going to also be made clear because the new moon in Leo is victory. So this is literally the last part of the battle. And what is going to be made clear is that sense of desperation is not you. It's the frustration from you not giving up, not like you have to give up. But what I'm trying to say is, if you see someone rushing you, right, here's an example. Someone's rushing you, and it's like, you have to hurry, you have to hurry. And it's not that you have to hurry. It's that they know they don't have much time left, but they're making it look like it's your problem. That's the type of people you're dealing with, where so many of you are unconscious to how powerful your clapback skills are. But these people are putting in a poker face to act like, oh, it doesn't work, but it works. 
and they're not going to be able to keep that poker face on much longer. So the most they can do, their only superpower is deception and just give you the impression that, oh, see, you're at your wits end. You're not at your wits end. You're feeling them at their wits end. And comment down below if you've experienced this, because a lot of this conflict has been hidden, but it will come out into the light from Leo into Sag. And this is going to represent more of that counterattack. Other than that, though, you're going to really master at a deeper level private psychic ability that will only make sense to you. Doesn't have to make sense to others as this is a nonlinear power and energy. And this is going to set the stage for the new moon cycle over the next couple of days that will invigorate and step you into new aspects of courage and also glow. So with this special glow, really feel into what makes you unique. Really feel about what about yourself taps you into this special understanding of yourself and how if you weren't in the equation, things would be different. Start from there because that will, moving forward, help you understand how to approach social situations while acknowledging and honoring your uniqueness. That opposition to Pluto is going to kill certain emotions forever, which it does every month. It's like a two week thing. And so you want to let this release accordingly because unlike most other moon opposite Plutos, the moon is in the 12th house balsamic phase now. So this is gonna actually be highly supernatural, very paranormal. And the more you can tune in, contemplate your emotions, um, and let you know your feelings sort through themselves, the more will be revealed. Okay, y'all stay blessed as always. And until next time.